And new at five, a Colorado man thought he could lie to police, but thanks to technology that scans your eye, not only did he get busted, he's now facing additional charges. 7 News reporter Lindsay Sablon talked with the Larimer County Sheriff who credits iris scanners for keeping tabs on offenders. Now I need you to lean toward me. It's a routine part of the booking process at Larimer County Jail. It's a, a modern day version of what the fingerprint card does. Look right in that little mirror. As deputies show us, instead of using your finger, this handheld scanner takes a digital print of each eye, which is held in a database. They've had the scanner for nearly a decade, but as the database grows, it's now paying off. A lot of the people that we contact um, who are suspected or accused of a crime are less than forthright with us. Saturday, 37-year-old Salvador Corral's car slid off of I-25 after he had been drinking. At the time, he didn't have his driver's license and gave police a different name. It was certainly questioned from the beginning. Deputies booked Corral using the scanner and found not only was he lying about his name, his license was revoked for a previous DUI, and he had an outstanding warrant. The old way of doing it would have been to hold on to him for court and have somebody bring proof of who that individual was, which can be timely and expensive. This tool isn't just used for booking. When inmates leave the jail, they're scanned. The 205 sex offenders registered in this county are also scanned when they check in. And for the people whose names are used but didn't actually commit the crime, this helps clear them. As for Corral, he's now facing seven charges, one of those a felony for criminal impersonation, a charge that may have taken longer to reach if it weren't for technology. In Larimer County, Lindsay Sablon, 7 News. And 7 News checked with other jails in the area, and at this point, Larimer and Jefferson County jails are the only ones with the iris scanner.